viewer. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday afternoon. I'm wearing my pink Barbie shirt. And, um, and yeah, it's great. Just went to go see Oppenheimer, another great movie of the year and enjoying a nice little affogato after, um, after a late lunch, early dinner. So today, what we're gonna do is, uh, is go through a lot of what I kind of was wondering about when I first started uh, learning about Davidoff and Davidoff cigars and the different sizes, the different variations and the lines, the signature series uh, specifically. And I, I, I bought a little assortment packet uh, of Davidoff and it came with this booklet here, which is the Davidoff Cigar Range booklet. And as you can see, it'll take you through all of the current, at least in the US, all of the current uh, cigar vitolas, the sizes, um, length, and, uh, and ring gauges of their current lineup, both front and back. So we have white band cigars on one side, and on the back side we have, I believe, what they call the black band, which are medium to full bodied cigars. So we're going to go through these, and um, specifically what I wanted to do is kind of show the difference in person, you know, in, in, in real life, in the video, um, and not wonder what they're like just by looking at a sheet like this. Obviously, I started off, you know, with the Davidoff number two and the 2000 and the Signature Series and I believe one of the Aniversario um, cigars, but today specifically we're going to go through the Signature Series and we have them here, and we're gonna go through how they're different, what you can use for a cut, and we're gonna go through some of the black band uh, cigars from this booklet. We're not gonna have to get too technical with the sizes, but we can reference them if we need to. All right, so first up, we have the, uh, the smallest cigar that they offer, and that is, I believe it's the smallest hand-rolled cigar, and for this one, you don't need to cut it. So this is the Esquisito. And it looks like this. And it comes in a nice little wooden box. Here you go. This is the Davidoff Esquisito. And just to give you an idea, this is the booklet here. That's its size right there. So it is specifically um, about three and a half inches long, very small ring gauge, a 22. So we'll keep that guy hanging out right there. All right, then after that, we have the Ambassadrice, which is a Senorita size. This is a great cigar, believe it or not. Not very big, packs a lot of flavor for what it is. We'll get into that. But that is the Ambassadrice right there. 26 ring gauge, four and a half inches in length. Following that, we have the Davidoff 1000. Now, this was the first Davidoff I ever had. Um, I thought it was reasonable for the price, and I said, you know what? Let me just try the watered-down version of it, and it was, it delivered. It did not disappoint. This is the Davidoff 1000 um, from the Signature Series, and it is that size right there. Uh, then we have the world-famous, the one and only, we have the Panatella which is the Davidoff number two, also known as a Corona Especial. When talking about Corona Vitolas, um, and that goes here. And then we have, after that, the Corona, the normal Corona, which is the Davidoff 2000. It is in a tubo. We will take it out of the tubo. And here it is. That is the Davidoff 2000, a bit bigger ring gauge but shorter than the number two so to give you an idea the number two is about six inches in length 38 ring gauge the corona the regular corona it, the 2000 is 43 ring gauge um but five five and one sixteenth so about five inches so an inch less than the uh than the davidoff number two up next we have the Petite Corona, which should be a smaller version, obviously a petite version of the 2000. And it is right here. And then we move into the larger ring gauge cigars. Now I will say 
that the 6000 is a Robusto. But I've seen Robustos, they, they, it's almost as if for the Signature Series, they made these a little bit smaller in, uh, in ring gauge, just to kind of appease, you know, or, or to keep the smaller ring gauge type of preference. So even a Robusto is a smaller ring gauge at 48 and five inches in length. So same length as, uh, as the Corona. And then we have the Toro. And even the Toro seems a little bit smaller than the normal Toros um, right here. So that is the lineup right there. This is a 54 ring gauge, by the way, and six inches in length. So let's see if I can do this without dropping it. That's the current lineup, and that's what they look like. So you get to see them physically or as physically as possible relative to each other. Okay, so let's talk about these a little bit. Now, <clears throat> this, and I, I don't want to be cliche or anything like that, but the Davidoff number two is perfect. It is the perfect cigar, uh, perfect size, perfect ring gauge, perfect time, everything. This is where it's at. What I found is that if you have people who are newer to cigar smoking or you have guests over the house, the 2000, the Davidoff 2000, this guy right here, which came in the tubo, is a bit shorter, smaller. Again, the taste is great on, on all of these but just smooth and shorter in, in size. So it doesn't look as overwhelming for the guests. So the Davidoff 2000 is what I would recommend for guests. Now, when you get to the bigger ring gauges here, um, you know, this is just a bigger ring gauge. And the way I feel about bigger ring gauge cigars is that you kind of have to, you know, you have to, it's not as comfortable of a, of a smoke. You have to unhinge the jaw. And I've said that before, how, so if you smoke this, you're opening, not that you're chewing on it, but you know, you're opening up your mouth a bit more or a lot more than what you would with, uh, let's say a 2000 Corona or a, the number two. And with the 2000, for example, you just go like that. And what that does is that it doesn't force you to open up the back of your throat. So you won't get smoke in there. Your voice probably won't change if you, you know, if, if if, if smoke gets back there, you're avoiding all those other issues that I've had with larger ring gauge cigars. Now, what you can do with these bigger ring gauges, either the, the Toro or the Robusto, is you can use a, um, a punch cut. So that, that's where it makes a circular little hole right here, instead of slicing off the whole thing. And you can get probably more flavor um, directly through that, that one, that one um, area instead of slicing off the whole thing where the flavor could be more spread out. But um, you can also try other cigars that are bigger ring gauges and kind of compare them similarly because you're using the same type of cut on there. Now, the other thing is that with a punch cut, you're going to be drawing a lot of smoke. It's not always going to be perfectly even in the middle. Try it. But what I've noticed is that you get an uneven burn a lot of the time when you put a punch cut with a larger ring gauge cigar, which is kind of counterintuitive, but I have found that when I use a punch, part of the cigar burns unevenly. Not that, that it's an issue, it, you just keep smoking it, it's fine, but you are, you are gonna get that, more than likely. Now, for a quick smoke, which I'm not a big quick smoke person when it comes to cigars, I think if you don't have at least an hour two or three, but really an hour or two to dedicate to it, you shouldn't do it. Um, and smoking a lot of cigars is not my thing. You know, I think you have to enjoy the time between the cigars. And that could be a few days, a few weeks even. I know that's gonna, gonna um, set some people off, but that's really what it is. Um, enjoy the time between the cigar. So make sure you have the right time dedicated to the cigar, but if you have to go for a relatively quick smoke, I do um, recommend this one, the, the Ambassadris, which is a Senorita size. Very small, but it has great flavor. I do not recommend the Esquisito, even though it's here, it's part of their lineup. Not much flavor there, kind of feels like you're smoking a cigarette. I wouldn't do it. Then you have the Davidoff 1000. Now, the Davidoff 1000 or the 
Señorita Ambassadrice. If you want a quick smoke, this is it. The Ambassadrice, Señorita size. If you're going to do the 1000, it's too long. It's going to give you too, it, it's too long of a smoke for a quick smoke. Um, conversely, my opinion is that the Corona and the 1000, so the 2000 and the 1000 are too short of a smoke if you want to enjoy a proper cigar. I do not recommend these either. I recommend the Davidoff number two if you want to have just the right uh, amount of time to enjoying a cigar. This Petit Corona, I know they have it, they did it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, at that point, you, you, you might as well either have the Ambassadrice for a quick smoke or the number two for a proper cigar. Um, if you do like bigger ring gauges, obviously these two are here. I don't, I don't recommend them. If you want more cigar time, instead of going with these bigger ring gauge cigars, what you can do is always take out your trusty Lancero. Now we did the other video on this where we cut off a third, we did the Edward cut on this. So this is a Lancero. This is actually seven inches in length and about, I think a 38 ring gauge. So it's pretty much a bigger version of the number two. And if you want a darker version of that Lancero, the Millennium Blend actually has one. It's a, I think it's a, yeah, it's a limited edition, but they have it just a tad bit smaller, uh, but I think that's a 39 ring gauge, not to get too technical, um, but it's a darker version of, uh, of a Davidoff cigar, the Millennium Blend, and it is a, uh, a Lancero size. Now the Lancero, we'll do a separate video on those, but essentially I like Lanceros because they are not easy to produce, easy to roll um, when it comes to flavor and burning. I've had a lot of Lanceros and just cigars in general, but Lancero cigars, this number one Vitola, these two, very difficult to make and have it um, burn well. So that's how you can also judge a competitor cigar maker. So we, I have a few other Lanceros of other brands that we'll try. And if one stands out, we'll keep it in the lineup, but that's how I also kind of judge other brands. And you also have great flavor development with Lanceros, with these longer, longer um, cigars. Something that's very short. Uh, I don't know, I want to say, I can't say that you don't get flavor from the Davidoff's signature series because you do, but usually a shorter cigar, like if you try Corona and, or a, you know, like a 1000, like a Petite Corona or a Petite Panatella size, which is what the 1000 is, you're not gonna get a lot of flavor development. Davidoff does not have that issue, but most cigar makers do. So after doing all this, I would say these are the three that I would recommend based on your time. These are the three Vitolas, the three sizes I would recommend. So we have a Ambassadrice for a quick smoke. We'll put that guy here. Then we have the Davidoff number two, just right. If there's probably one cigar you're gonna have forever, the rest of your life, I'd say this one. For guests, the 2000, which is the Corona. Um, it's just the right size, not too short and not too overwhelming for a guest. Um, and then the, um, the signature series, the Lancero number one, Davidoff number one, right there. So, yeah. Now, there is another size that is between the, uh, the uh, Lancer, which, which, sorry, which is between the Panatella, the number two, and the number one, but with a slightly bigger ring gauge, similar to the Corona, which is called an, um, a Lonsdale. Now, we don't have a Davidoff version of a Lonsdale. I don't, I don't think they have one out at the moment, um, but we do have another cigar maker that has a Lonsdale. And you can see that it's pretty much right between, it's a bigger ring gauge, but just a bit bigger than the, the Davidoff number two. Um, so that's, that's called a Lonsdale. We'll see if Davidoff has one um, coming soon. Now to get into the other cigars, let's make some room. What I wanna talk about right now or the Churchill cigars. So Churchill has the Churchill size. 
cigar, which is about, I think, a 737, which is, or no, sorry, 747, so seven inches, just about, and 47 ring gauge, and they are right here. So that's what they look like here. And there's two versions. There's the original line, which is a medium, I think just straight medium, and, and the late hour series, which is a medium to full body flavor. So they are right here. Um, and for the black band, so these are black band, or sorry, these are Churchill series. And then for the black bands, we're gonna look at Escurio, which is Davidoff's line from, uh, from Brazil. Now this is a, uh, a Corona Gorda size. So this is a six by 46, so six inch length, 46 ring gauge. So a bit of a bitter, be, uh, bigger ring gauge than the, uh, than the number two. And then we have the Yamasa. I'm sorry, after that we have the Nicaragua blend. And this is the Diadema Vitola. So it's, it's uh, torpedoed, I guess you can say, or, you know, tapered at both ends. That's the Adema. And then we have the Yamasa blend, which from what I've learned, just watching the videos, uh, Yamasa is a region in the Dominican Republic, but I believe it had more volcanic soil or volcanic something. Anyway, different type of soil in the center of the Dominican Republic, uh, different type of leaf and flavor that you're going to get. So yeah, that's about it. I mean, that's really what I wanted to go through. Um, just seeing them there, you know, try them out, see what, what fits your comfort really. Longer cigars, you're going to get a, uh, a better flavor development, uh, something shorter, maybe not as much, but if you need to have a quick cigar, you can go for the Ambassadris, but try them out, see what works best for you. Longer cigars, obviously, um, you need more time dedicated to them, but remember the shape, the more unique the shape is, the smaller ring gauge, longer, the Lancero, the more difficult it is to roll and to get flavor from. So you can judge other cigar makers just from that specific um, Vitola. Same thing with the Yamasa, which is a torpedo, or the Diadema from the Nicaragua blend. It, they're more difficult to roll because of their shape, or like you would a Perfecto or anything like that, than just a regular, um, I guess you can say cylindrical cigar. Now I know there's a correct name for that, but that's what it is. So here's the lineup. From the Signature Series, we have one from the Millennium Blend. We have one thrown in here that is a Lonsdale type of variation in size. Churchill and the Black Band um, from Nicaragua, Brazil, and the Yamasa region in the Dominican Republic. We got a nice close up here. And there you go. That's the shot of all of them together. Try them out, take your time with them. There's no such thing as a quick cigar, in, in my opinion, um, but an uncomfortable cigar is possible too. So make sure not to, uh, not to be uncomfortable in enjoying a nice cigar. And enjoy the time between the cigars. You don't have to have a cigar every hour or every day or even every week. Just enjoy them. Um, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. And, uh, and thanks again. Thank you for watching and like and subscribe and comment if you have questions or if you want to see anything specific, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll try to get it um, up on YouTube. Thank you and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.